What's up, welcome back. In this series, we're building out a platform for creators. We're embedding finance so that they can store and send funds. And in this episode, you're gonna learn all about making payouts between your payments balance and your financial account balance. So let's get into it. Right now, we have a little bit of money in our payments balance that we received through a payment on a payment link. And we wanna move that into our financial account balance. And the way we're gonna do that is with a payout. So let's generate a new controller. We're using Rails here. We're gonna call this controller the payouts controller. And really it should just be a create action here that allows us to move money from the, uh, the available balance on our payments balance to the connected account balance or to the financial account balance. So we're going to uh, before action require that the uh, user is logged in. And what we wanna do is figure out how much money we want to transfer and then move that over. So this Stripe account class is a set of methods and helpers that are that enable us to interact with the Stripe API for connected accounts and financial accounts. And what we wanna do now is create a new way for us to move money with a payout. So I'm gonna make a new method here called payout. And inside of here, we're gonna make an API call to create a payout. And this payout is gonna have some amount that we're gonna look into in a minute. And we don't need to pass in a destination. This header, again, is gonna include the Stripe account ID for this current connected account. So this amount is actually gonna be the payments balances. So payments balances dot available dot first dot amount. So when we say payout, that should create a new payout and move the money into this new account. So let's go back to our payouts controller. So we need to initialize a new uh, Stripe account object. So we'll call this the service. We're gonna say Stripe account dot new current user dot, dot account. And then we're gonna say service dot payout. And we'll redirect to um, the accounts path. Okay, now we need some button on the dashboard. Actually, let's go back to the dashboard. Dashboard path. So we need a button on the dashboard that will allow us to move the money. I was thinking it would be kind of cool to have the uh, a button between these two panes here that had a down arrow so that it would show that we're gonna, we're gonna move money from the payments balance to the financial account balance. I'm not sure if that's very clear, but uh, hopefully Tailwind UI has a component that will make it look nice. Um, I guess we can use these buttons and maybe there's one with an icon on the right side. That looks pretty cool. And we'll drop that in here. And we're actually gonna use a form and the action is gonna be slash payouts. The method is gonna be post. And we're gonna say that should be good. Okay. Now let's go to hero icons and find a button or an icon, hero icons, for a down arrow. Let's see, down, okay. Um, I don't know, I kinda like this chevron double down arrow. And yeah, so let's copy the SVG and then we're gonna use that here. All right. And this is gonna be payout. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we copied too many of them. All right, so how come we have so many? Oh, we copied a whole bunch of buttons. All right, so let's delete all of those ones. And we don't need the super ridiculously massive button. I think we can probably do padding to padding to, let's see. All right, that's pretty nice. Let's give it margin top of four. Oh, you know what we need? We also need to have our um, input type is hidden. The name is authenticity token. All right, one last thing. Let's disable turbo on this class, on this form. So we're gonna say data turbo is false. And we're gonna refresh the page and click payout. That's gonna make the API call to Stripe to create the payout. And it should come back. 
All right, let's see where this is not working. So payouts controller. Ah, is do we have a route for this yet? So route should be resources payouts only. All right, let's look in the logs here and see what's going on. So we click on payout. The button type here needs to be type submit. Okay, click on payout. All right, it's doing something. Nice. Okay, so now available is zero and the cash down here is 2234 and now it's 3175. Okay, so it, it takes just a minute for it to actually land in the, the cash balance there. Um, okay, so that is pretty cool. What I'm wondering is if we want to wait to redirect or something. So there is a little bit of a race condition there. We can figure that out uh, later. Okay, so this is how you move money from your payments balance to your financial account balance. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.